Hi, this is the audio commentary to the recent video, very recent video I did today, Return to Chanka, Krogan Vanguard versus all three enemy factions. Uh, originally, as those of you who have been following this know, I wanted to do a uh, Krogan soldier guide, but um, as it turned out, the Krogan soldier has essentially been supplanted by the uh, Krogan battlemaster, the Vanguard just a lot better in virtually every respect. The build I mentioned, uh, I max out uh, everything and I don't put anything into Carnage. Um, and one thing, very important thing, I'm not going to make this too long, is that on gold, uh, an a, me a melee build Krogan, quite in my op humble opinion, is could be viable and simply not as viable as one that maximizes uh, health and barrier and focus on weapon damage, preferably with a shotgun. The reason for this is simple, that you can still get swarmed and, and overwhelmed, you can get attacked by Husk, will jump on you, and then, for example, uh, Reapers, you might notice that my playstyle is slightly more cautious um, when I'm dealing with the Reaper faction. The reason for this is, whilst uh, facing hordes of Husks and even Brutes is not really that much of a problem, when you have Marauders and uh, Cannibals in the background, uh, who fire, you know, rate, have a rate of fire like the Hurricane SMG, you can get mowed down very quickly if you get caught in between uh, too many husks. So, yeah, if you imagine that happened to me uh, as a Krogan Vanguard with the current build. Imagine what happens if you are a charger, uh, a group of, and you'll see me purposely avoid towards the um, end of the video, a large group of Hoss, a Brood, and a Marauder, and I ra rather than charge down there at the bottom of the map, I believe I charge to the left, and I uh, charge a, a single Marauder instead. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, imagine what you would do if you were, you know, charge in a group like that, and you start melee and everything. Now, Rage is great, but Rage doesn't make you invincible. And even if you can, you can get Rage after two hits, um, w the things you get for Rage, the damage reduction, yeah, uh, um, is more or less, I have not exact calculation, the same as you would get if you get the, um, the extra health and shields, to be honest. So, what I, I think that the whole melee concept, I do, you see I melee a fair bit, but it's, it's really kind of additional. The vast majority of my damage comes mostly from my shotgun and also charge itself. There's no point uh, if you, if you want to talk about efficiency, the most efficient way is not to use a uh, heavy melee spec build, in my opinion. Um, the, the, because the Krogan Battlemaster is a new class at, at the current, this current moment in time, there's going to be a lot of debate. And you know, But I play almost exclusively on gold, and uh, I, I've yet to see, I haven't seen too many Krogan Battlemasters, but I've seen lots of soldiers, and as I mentioned before, it's, <laughs> you don't want to melee too much on a soldier. Um, it's slightly more viable on a Vanguard, obviously, but um, yeah. The other important thing that even if melee were, melee Krogan and Vanguard were very viable um, in and of itself, you're going to be in situations where you're going to have enemies at range. Now you can see I can fire with a growl basically across the map. Heavy, heavy melee and heavy melee is really only good point blank. The growl, or any shotgun, well, particularly the growl, it's good uh, at point blank, at short range, at medium range, and even to some extent at long range. So kind of everything covered. Um, so that's my preference. And I don't, I just don't think melee is, is that viable. You'll, you'll get yourself killed much, much more likely that's going to happen. Um, I'm, in fact, that, these are my predictions. Once Krogan Vanguards become unlocked much more frequently, you're going to have um, a similar phenomenon occur, in my opinion, to the, the, the Nova Spam Vanguard, which I despise. I've never played it, but whereas you, they're just People are going to go, oh, I'm a vanguard, I can charge and start melee and everything. They get swarmed, they die on the other side of the map, and, you know, the usual story. That's my prediction. So, moving on. Uh, shotguns, very important. Uh, you have a shotgun uh, special, uh, specialty as a Krogan. It's not quite as good as the soldier, which is uh, understandable. You don't want to give the, the Krogan vanguard all the buffs. So with the soldier and my 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 Grawl of ten, I would have a 100, 190% recharge rate for Carnage. Uh, I only have 160, and then add on the the barrier penalty as well as the um, 
the uh, the sorry the ba ba barrier barrier evolution six, which reduces the panels by thirty. But I have about one hundred thirty percent recharge. It works more or less. Could it be a bit shorter? Sure, but the Krogan charge is inherently uh, longer in, in CD and cool in terms of cooldown than any of the other charge um, charging characters. So, but regarding shotguns. Uh, I honestly think that many, many shotguns are viable as long as you're just doing damage. Actually, the scimitar is quite good, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I thought it was... I tried it out. For example, if I'm not hosting and I'm playing a Krogan Vanguard, I prefer to run with the scimitar. Um, but... Anyway. The point I'm, I, I'm, uh, I want to talk about shotguns is that... Uh, I've talked about this before and I'll mention it again. I think I used to growl all the time, if I can. Let me say something about the Geth Plasma Shotgun, which is um, very popular, much more popular than the Growl. I, I am not going to lie, it's a very good shotgun. It's comparable to the Growl. There are slight differences, those differences being, uh, <coughs> pardon me, the Geth Plasma Shotgun um, has more shots, but you can also charge it up, and you, that costs two shots. It only costs one shot in the Growl, so the charge up effect at the end of the day is the same basically have three shots for that. Um, the great Geth Plasma Shotgun has a much, much easier learning curve than the Grawl does. It's just clear. Uh, by the way it feels, you just fire it. The Grawl requires a lot of practice. Um, but once you get it, it's deadly. Because the Grawl, can, as I did it many times in this video, can pop headshots much, much more effectively than the Geth Plasma Shotgun. Um, and as personally the Vanguard, I think that's more important. If you get headshots, you're in, you're in business. I mean, body shots are okay. Both have the stagger effect, which is important. The stagger effect knocks them back. And as a charging Vanguard, as a Krogan Vanguard, that could buy you precious time. Um, if, you're, if you're still on CD, if your cooldown is still going, uh, what, what do you do? You, uh, you can you hit an enemy that that sa that sa second or two second and a half of stagger can give you just enough time for you to recover or less than a second uh, your CD and then charge again. So very important. Those are the only two shotguns in the game, in my opinion, that probably will be most effective um, because they have uh, they have the stagger effect, which is really important. The Disciple has a very unreliable stagger effect. Quite frankly, I think the Disciple is a piece of shit. I'm someone who's very open-minded about gameplay and different weapons. I try everything out, and I, I just the Disciple is just not that good. The only good thing about it is it's really light, and it looks like a kind of space toy. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, if, if you're not hosting, or you just don't like, uh, I think it was Mysterious Stranger 2.0 asked me, if you don't like the Grawl or the Charge Up thing, and the charge up isn't really an issue. Uh, you actually have, if you come right out of charge, I charged up a few times and uh, fired it. Uh, then I would, personally, I would suggest the scimitar. I'll tell you why. Um, the scimitar has a high rate of fire. It's got a large clip capacity. And if you take weapon synergy, which uh, the build I'll, I'll talk about in a second, uh, you'll have a higher, you'll have a higher DPS. You get a 15% uh, weapon damage bonus after you come out of charge for three seconds. Um, and so that you'll benefit from that. So if you can't, that's my suggestion. If you can't use the Grawl for whatever reason, you're not hosting or the GPS, if you, that's what you like. I don't like that, but uh, the, the, the nice alternative is, is the, um, the Scimitar, because you have a good, very good rate of fire, decent damage. You don't have the stagger effect, but you'll have a 200% cooldown. Most of us have a, a Scimitar 10 by now, so that shouldn't be a problem. And, of course, that'll help you be more efficient. Um, I only have 160% with the Growl, but it makes up for it in terms of stopping power and, and the stagger effect. The build is simple. Um, I don't put anything in Carnage, which I think for the Krogan Vanguard is a waste. There are different opinions. A teammate of mine I play with often, he, he doesn't think Barrier is worth it. And he's a very good Vanguard, so I'm inclined to believe him. But I, I, I want to see how different builds work out. This is the one that works out has worked out the best for me so far. So, regarding barrier, um, I don't I, I detonate barrier once every ten years. I don't really do it very often. The only time it's useful in my experience is when you're behind cover and you can't really do anything else, and enemies are going to pop up to you, uh, approach you. It's okay in that respect. 
However, um, yeah, that, that's about it. But yeah, so I got 20% barrier reduction. The power synergy is very important because it enhances both the damage and the force of your charge. Um, and yeah, finally, this the cooldown reduction for that particular power. Charge is quite simple: area of effect charge, weapon synergy, and finally full uh, full, full barriers restoration. The reason for that being quite simply <laughs> that. The area charge speaks for itself. You want to hit multiple enemies. Weapon synergy, because I, you, there is the option of melee synergy, but I don't think this is, that's as viable. And finally, in, regarding the charge of six evolution, yeah, you want full. You want a reliable full restoration of your barrier. You don't want 25% chance you might be able to charge again. Um, that that's just too risky to me, in my in my opinion. Although I don't know, I'm I'm willing to try something like that out. Uh, on the Krogan Vanguard. He, he might be able to make that work uh, because he has so much barrier to begin with. Um, and so, I don't know. I'm willing, I'm willing to respec and try that out and I can report on that later. Uh, passive, everything in damage and, uh, sorry, power and force, and then of course weight capacity. Max out shotguns. And in fitness, most very, very important, max health and shields. Uh, sorry, barrier. That's very important, as I mentioned. Forget melee. Melee is nice. It staggers and it has its uses, but anyway. Uh, specifically regarding the factions, uh, I people ask me, you know, am I going to solo? Did I finish the end? I, I think I probably could solo gold uh, with a Krogan Vanguard, but it's very tedious and, you know, it would cost me a lot of consumables because I would make mistakes eventually. And I don't have any intention right now of doing that. I might do it for fun. Um, if anything, I'm much more inclined to solo gold with the Batarian soldier. But that's you know, that's what I'm more inclined to do at the moment, which is currently my favorite class, the most fun. But uh, the factions, they're all different. Ironically enough, the factions that used to give Krogus the most trouble to get are now the least troublesome. Not, very little staggers you. They're very slow for the most part, and uh, so you're pretty safe with Get. Uh, I think you can actually play the most aggressively with Get. Servers is kind of an in-between thing. Uh, you have a lot of uh, enemies that are more mobile, uh, fire full auto weapons, uh, do all kinds of things, you know. And in that variety, there's danger. Unfortunately, uh, since I stopped at Wave 3 and I wanted to go on forever, I didn't fight any phantoms. That said, it would be, um, it, you can be instant kill if it's happened to you before. So that's, the, but against Phantoms, even if they're in their biotic protection thing, if you charge the Krogan, it's so powerful that, um, yeah, it's, it's quite, it's quite good. What else? Hmm. What else is there? Oh, yes, the, the Reavers. In my opinion, the most dangerous faction, at least soloing, because you have a combination of marauders and, and cannibals that fire full auto weapons at a speed Shepard could only dream of. They mow you down instantly if you're not a Krogan. And then getting swarmed by lots of uh, trash, like husks and what have you, that's, that's dangerous. Um, but they all, I mean, at the end of the day, strategy, I mean, yeah, there's strategy to it in the sense that you need to charge and be smart about charging. I mean, it's know when to charge, basically, and know when to and use your weapon. But at the end of the day, it's charge, shotgun, charge, shotgun. That never really changes. That's the routine. There are no doubt people are going to disagree with me, and that's fine. And, and people, are, um, I'm, I'm not someone who thinks this is the only way to do it. If you could find a way of, uh, I mean, I'm sure you can play a Krogan, you know, with uh, just without charge, you know, like a like a Krogan soldiers with barrier and carnage or something, but then at the end of the day uh, you would just have a kind of different version of the soldier, I think. That, that, that would be my impression of what that would be. Uh, I mean, charge is the bread and butter. But, you know, we'll see as, as time goes on, as the different builds evolve, that's going to be you know, that's an important thing. But for the time being, this is the build I advocate. 
I think what I will do still um, is I will, with a Krogan, maybe it might, might be viable. I will respect for only the 50% recharge to see if the 25% is actually worth it. I'll play, I'll play probably one or two games like that. Um, and, uh, you know, if the survivability, if I don't notice any huge dim diminishment in survivability, I might actually start advocating that, for example. Um, anyway, that's, that's pretty much it. That it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, charge, be smart about charging. On a final note, one character class I've become very, very fond of is the Batarian Soldier, which is really excellent if you know how to spec it properly. And oddly enough, not, or not oddly enough, they have the most powerful heavy melee in the game. Uh, probably the, the class that's most proficient at heavy melee in goal. It's selective, but if you use crowd control powers like ballistic, um, ballistic blade and use the growl or the GPS on, you can stagger and then follow through. It works quite well. I'm less enthusiastic about the Sentinel, I have to say, because the net is unreliable. Anyway, but um, so what you can expect next at some point in time in the near or not too far off future is a a more extensive guide on the Batarian soldier and how to use him effectively because I know he's going to get a lot of shit on the forums eventually. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is the audio audio commentary for Return to Chanka, Krogan Vanguard versus the Three Factions. If you have any questions, uh, post them in, uh, in a comment or you can post them in the thread which I'll put a link to. Uh, thanks for watching or listening rather.